we've come as a branch today because we want our voices heard. We're trying to make the noise loud and we're trying to get the message clear to Mr Swinney. We're valuable teachers. That we have to value teachers is one of the three most important things. Health, police and education and we are getting put to the last. What we're saying is if the average pay of a teacher worldwide is 42,000 and the pay, top pay of a Scottish teacher is 36,500 then that's a considerable gap that perhaps we should be doing something to amend. And we're here because we value children's education. We want to get it right for our children, but we're not getting it right because we don't have the resources, we don't have the people, and we don't have the expertise because they're closing all the special schools. What do we want? 10%! What do we want now? I've been teaching a long time, and I'm worried that a lot of new teachers coming in are getting really disheartened and are quitting. I'm seeing really bad things happening with the kids that are really needy, desperately needing support that's being cut for them. The numbers you see here, uh, they aren't just here for the pay, they're here because of things like workload, things like stress, things like behaviour issues. This is my fourth year um, of teaching, um, so it's been really good, but lately you've kind of seen the differences in terms of the stress levels and the more and more kind of initiatives that are impacting on our workloads and what's expected of you every day. Here today with my colleagues to send a clear message to the Scottish Government that the teaching profession is on its knees. John Swinney and Nicola Sturgeon want to close the attainment gap and what we're here to do is tell them that what is closing that attainment gap is teachers working for nothing in their own time, day in and day out. Pay, workload, stress, time. Do you want recruitment? We value the children, we put everything into our jobs, we do the best we can do and we feel that we should be valued as well. It's a really hard job and getting harder all the time, we feel that we are worth an extra 10%. In recent years you haven't seen pay claims of 10%, that may seem like quite a lot to people, but the reality is that 10% is quite a modest pay claim when you consider what's happened to teachers pay over the past 10 years. The main resource of a school is its staff. And if you don't keep its staff happy, then I'm afraid the whole morale of sort of teaching across the country is sucked. One of our initiatives is developing the young workforce and you don't hear many young people saying anymore, yeah, I want to get into teaching. Like, I think that's a really good career to get into and that's worrying me. There's a lot of people that will go in for one year and then they'll move abroad because there's so many more opportunities there. I would say on average, like most of my college, I, w I work about um, between 55, 60 hours a week. A lot of those hours are unpaid and a lot of those hours are in my own time after school. And those hours are spent supporting children, ensuring that the children do the best that they can. If that message doesn't get across, if Mr Swinney decides that that is not what we're val valued, then there will be further action taken. We'll just keep demonstrating. We hopefully don't want to go on strike, but we have to take the procedures that are necessary. Teachers go into teaching because they love working in that profession and they love working with young people. It's so hard for us to strip back on things and say, do you know what, we're not doing that anymore because we want young people to be valued and feel valued. And it's getting to the point now where we think maybe a one or two day strike is what's going to help to see that, do you know what, we need to be valued, we need more people to come into the profession and to see it as a, a future career. Teachers are important because they give you the right to education. They do fun things with us and they keep you, well, they keep you educated and, well, you should just respect them with all you've got.